Welcome back. But overall, I, I think both teams have a pretty solid drafts. Uh, on this position, it's a bit trickier, but you do have multiple stunts to play with if you manage to catch one of these heroes out. Issue is trying to angle, angle yourself around the Death Prophet. You dual melee against this hero. Oh. DP just tells it that. What a toss back. Mid one, but no, the first blood's gonna go the way of Q. Fearless. Oh, nice juke on the stun. Gets the Vortex off into the Remnant, oh. and Fearless eventually does get the kill. So in this new game, he's having a much better time. Bot lane, mid one, avalanche toss into Arfu, but Maseros, he survives the initial combo, and with the Siphon, he is still alive, and the Fisher, it's gonna block Arfu out. He can't make his way over to Maseros. He will go down as mid one keeps going for the dive in. Another Siphon out. Mid one, please tell me you get the kill. They do get it in the end with the blood right. But they know mid one's stuck. The spear's gonna land. Mid one, he's out of mana. He's got the soul ring, but that's about all he's got. That was on the uh, the tail end of that Observer Ward. I mean, Roger, he ends up getting the the OBS kill, but Fearless is able to secure his life instead. Now Moon, gonna try and get aggressive with this Haste Rune. Edict out as well. Pulse to the low ground. Fearless, can you actually escape? In the meantime, Jackie's cut off our food. Fearless still trying to go for a run. He'll very fire up and actually vortexes the creep. They are... Maseros, gonna be spotted, mid one, Avalanche tosses there into the Blood Riot, and this should be an easy kill. Fearless, he's rotated though, he'll try to get at least some form of a trade onto Roggy, and does. Oh, Fisher. Not quite the block they were looking for there from Arfu. They can still try. But Q is around with the arena. In fact, they might turn now. Arena's gonna catch two. TP is there from set zero. Spear eventually is gonna land onto the cliff, but now SMG, they've brought Moon in. They'll go after set zero. That'll be one down, and they might just find a second as Fearless. He will die as king of the hill. Arfu, no, he will survive. He outruns the Crypt Swarm. Motivate Trust as three. Not gonna move into that dire jungle and mid one. He'd be a great target. In fact, look at that zip right in. Fearless, he's ready, and here we go. On to mid one. Can they hold him down? Arena's gonna be there. TP's flying in, but they should not make it in time. Arfu, he's out with the Fisher. But it's only a Fisher that can come out. Considering how far behind mid one is, we were talking about the tiny getting way more farm. He's just not getting space out. Maybe they've gone too far this time. Jackie gonna try and help protect. Fearless, Earth Spike is there. Fearless, he'll still zip out, but Fisher is gonna connect, and that should be enough. Rupture out as well on the right side, but Set Zero is immediately just gonna TP as now Jackie's in big, big trouble. Moon still chasing him down, has the Yule Set drop in about four seconds. Rage committed, and Jackie might just make it, but KP still having a look around for a plasma field. The Motivate. They're gonna group up the five into the mid lane. They'll go right after KP. TPs are coming in to try and force a fight, but it's too late. They've already lost one. In fact, Moon now is gonna be jumped. Arfu, he's around with the Blink Dagger, but he's got no Echo Slam. In fact, Avalanche Toss is gonna be onto the Earthshaker. He blinked in at the wrong time. He'll go down as well. Masteros, he'll keep chasing for a bit more. Mid one, he'll be a great target, but they aren't gonna dive tier three towers quite yet. Just not enough damage flying out from mid one to, to really make Jackie too nervous. But now perhaps Rage has already been committed. Rupture's out. He hasn't got many places to go. Fish is going to be a nice block as well. He needs help ASAP. Feel is trying to get in range for the infest, but it's not there. He zips on the wrong side of the Fisher. And Fearless is going to die in a boot. Oh, a bit of a miss zip there from Fearless. Going to cost them as now Q's jumped in, but it's one by one. This is not what you want. Avalanche is out, Q's gonna die, Maseros, he's BKB'd up, it's not looking great for him, he can't survive with the Spirit Siphons. SMG, they will clean up as an Echo Slam towards the South Arfu, he wants the last piece, but he won't get it, as Set Zero is gonna give him the tip over. <laughs> oh, Motivate, this could be trouble. Motivate, I, I, I'm not sure about this timing right now, as they know they're in there. Arfu gonna blink in with the Fisher now, and they've got Fearless already, but the Infest is gonna buy a bit of time. As Arfu, he'll be the first one to go down, but he does buy back. Meanwhile, Moon dropping very low, but the Finger, it wasn't enough. Maseros still trying, but they've got the Death Prophet down. Fearless, he's back in, but the Yule Scepter is gonna save the day, or maybe not. They still get the Leshrac down, but they have lost Fearless, and now they'll lose Q. As Jackie, he just needs to get the hell out. SMG, still on the chase, toss in onto Roggy. 
Blood Riot is actually going to connect and now the Fisher will hold him down. The buybacks, they are going to be too late. In fact, this could be the worst timing as they is TP'd in. But can they actually fight back? I think the answer might be no, but Feelers, he's going to try. The man with no fear, he'll keep going. Zip back and forth, but now he's at a matter and half. Uh, commits the echo. No games here from our Earthshaker. Mid one, he's dropping low. Q, he might go for the chase, but I don't think he can actually keep up. He'll leave him be. Has now said Zero's respawned. You're going to lose Arfu to the tower. Damage, in fact, spear around. Q, he is actually cleaning up. He's holding multiple heroes down. And somehow... They make the buybacks worthwhile. Really well-timed scan from SMG does tell that something's up near the pit. Perfectly timed scan out. However, Roger is still going to get caught. But you are the Pulse 5 Bloodseeker, so you're happy to tank the five-man smoke. In fact, well, you don't want to lose more here. Arfu, he's going to be scouted out and does get caught by the line. In fact, they may even found more now. KP. going to get zipped on by Fearless, but he's low on mana. Arena out, but it's not going to catch mid one either. Few ultimates committed there. Let's motivate. They could still try to force the Roshan while Arfu is down. Set zero. Hex out onto KP, but mid one's going to jump right in with the Avalanche Toss and cleans him up. Buybacks there from Roji. They're going to commit to the fight now. Motivate. They're a bit low on mana here on Fearless, but he's still going to try and fight this one out against Moon. Bloodstone active has been popped. Fearless, he uses his PKB and needs to TP out. And he does. But SMG now. Do you go back in? Do you keep the fight up? It looks like they are going to try. Their cooldowns are so much lower on Jackie. He will get bursted down by mid one. Terrible news here for Motivate. They do have the buyback on Jackie. But he won't want to commit it. But SMG, they're still going to try and force the fight. With this Aegis up. Onto that tier 2 bottom tower. Fearless. He'll TP in, mid one, he's gonna get jumped with the spear out, but he's got help right behind him. Zip in though, how long can he survive? Fish is gonna block him in, but no, the arena makes him bounce back out, and they will start to just shred the side of Motivate. This mid one, he actually does end up dropping, but that was only the Aegis. And as a trade, they get Maceros, and they might even find the Lifestealer. Jackie with a drop, hands up from mid one. And they're trying to force tier 4, so they're going back and forth here, but they're forcing the buybacks out. So they, they, back, they, back, they back off, go back for the racks. But you have some heroes now for Motivate Trust. They can look to maybe try to play defense. 3 versus 5 is a bit of a tough situation, though. As both tier 4s are about to drop, mid one, he'll shred through the second, and they're onto the Ancient. You have no choice now. Motivate, they have to move in ASAP. Half HP Ancient, mid one, he's going to BKB up. He's a man of business. He'll just finish off the game as the GG has been called. In fact, he'll leave the Ancient alone. Oh, the classic SEA play. Never finish the Ancient, always dive the Fountain. Level 25 Tinker, we'll see. We'll see if the nerfs mattered. Oh, here we go, mid one. Don't run up that staircase, because you're not going to like what you see. He'll go for the doppel level one and try to make his way out. Do they have the control? Apparently they don't. They can't finish the job, and now Maceros is in trouble. They'll try to turn this one around, SMG. They are on the chase. Mid one is perfectly safe, as now it looks like Motivate. They're the ones in trouble. Is Afu? He's going to drop a little bit low, but Maceros is still the one in danger. They're kind of stuck here. With no regen left apart from that bottle on Maceros, but Doppel is out. Mid one gonna move in. Q. He's gonna try and juke out the blood right, but eventually mid one should have his way with him. On the right side, however, Maceros is gonna chase down Roji. Won't get him, but they do get Q. Mid one he'll TP out. They have the ravage, they have the finger, and they want to get them on cooldown. Especially if they can find a big pickoff like mid one, and he might right run it. He might run right into them right now. Ward down Q. He sees mid one, gets the hex off. They need those disables ASAP. Earth spike's gonna be there. Finger out, and there's your ravage. No second guessing, just right into it. Maceros. Rupture out, he'll just remnant away, but mid one, he was waiting at the exact right position. Hand up, Maceros, no high fives from him. Remote way trust is just trying to get space out, trying to be greedy or Raji though. Yeah, he's quite deep. Moon, gonna move in, you'll step around. He's on Jackie, Requiem gonna be channeled onto set zero, but the damage really wasn't there. Cooldown's still going, they might be able to force the fight. Motivate, trying to move in for the stuns out. Moon, he will back off the right moment, but the rockets are coming in and it will be enough. 
as KP, he will try to run as well, but it will be no good. Masaros able to claim the kill. He'll get a two for nothing trade in that mid lane. You know, the cute thing about this, in fact, hold that thought, because Moon now might just get jumped. Chains are out. Masaros, he'll give all the vision for his Tinker to keep spamming up those rockets, but now the teammates are coming in. In fact, Rupture is out. They're going to go right after the Tinker instead, and they've got him. Fearless. Still trying to survive, but eventually the rays will fly in from Moon. There's now Masaros. He's going to find his own way out. Looks like he is screwed, though. Magic Missile will land, and that'll be enough as now the Earthspitter flies through. Q will be targeted by mid one, but instead Diffusal Blade is out on Jackie, and they might just go for a dive. Jackie, gonna get swapped right back into the loving arms of Moon and mid one. Ravage is there, but they've already lost their carry. They'll try to trade with the Earth Spike. It's only gonna land onto KP. And they've got KP, but he's got the Axe up. Like, he'll, he'll always have that secondary life with the Remnant. I think Missile is going to land. I suppose they could keep chasing forward, but Yules is out onto Masaros. Stomp, not going to be there instead of Magic Missile, but now Ooh. a big Ravage set zero. He's got the blink up on the tide already. So he's just jumped in and cleans up KP and Moon. Ruptures there on Jackie. They might be able to try and trade here as the Gyrocopter already so darn low and is eventually going to drop us now. Roggy just keeps chasing forward. Mid one's going to join in. Who do they go after? It'll be right after that Tinker as Fearless. He just gets demolished by mid one. It's a 4 for 2 trade. You look at Jackie on the gyro, he's still struggling to keep up in terms of farm. Uh, uh oh. Fearless. That's it around. It's going to be a lot of damage, and he is very low on mana now. He's got no way out. He's gone. Mid one. He'll leave the kill. Is that balance? I would argue it's not, but it won't matter. You don't have much presence. I think that's something that we're lacking on this gyro, and. It's going to take a lot longer because he's still waiting oh, for some initial pickups. He's in. Requiem's out. Set zero is gone. He does have buyback. And he might need to commit because he's got the Ravage up right now. And his team might need it. Aegis does expire, but Fearless, he's been caught. Buyback is there now, but it might be all too late. Masteros, he's taken way too much damage, and he's out of mana. In fact, Jackie, he's gone as well. None of them have buyback. On to Q, they'll get an ultra kill on mid one. Oh, what do you do now? There's a buyback on the line, but that's all you've got. Tips out for Masaros. Oh, God. And GG's called. That's it. 28 minutes in. SMG, they finish off game two. And they are going to make their way over to the grand final. If Jackie will still drop the 99. But this time around, he doesn't win the game.